Full Metal Alchemist. That's crazy. Right here, look, there's some cars right here, too. Yeah. There you go, bud. Can I see this one? Try to see this one. Oh, Marvel Legends. Oh, the profit. That's dope. Maybe. One firebird. <laughs> one firebird? All oh, right. You yeah, see? Yeah, it was all painted up. Unless someone painted it. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> Figures. Yeah. Juanito, about time you come here. <coughs> okay, guys, so. Some of the rare stuff that I found was Pandora's box. One of them got a war. So that's the book in there. Pretty cool. It's a pretty hard one to get, actually. I'm probably taking this one. That's cool. Marvel Legends. And yeah, man. A really badass special edition for 360. Oh, DST. Halo Reach. Min edition. Sealed. Pretty dope. That was cool.
probably grab that. Maybe this one. Use them for sure. Some of the other figures that I have here. It's pretty cool Despair ones. Apart for this guy. Alright guys, this is a 1998 Panther. Really cool from Star Wars. Usually you don't see these, but they're pretty pricey still, like 30 bucks. Panther. See how much you want for it. Let's see if anything else came out. I left my skateboard there and my guitar here. That's where it takes it. Charging pad. Hmm. Some more Star Wars stuff over there. Can I come through? Sorry. Right sorry, sir. I'm looking pretty late, though. What do you guys on this? Uh, uh, ten. Ten. <coughs> and the games are you guys on? Games are how much are the games? Like three things? No, two by two, two by two. Message. <laughs> ten for the pants, huh? That's what it's going for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't do it like ten for the whole thing. No. What can you do on it then? Uh, Chris. I, th I don't know if you do like three for five there. How about twelve? Uh, how much is that jacket? The Raiders 12? jacket. Okay. Twelve bucks, guys. What are you looking for? Uh, you know me. I like the monster stuff, Godzilla stuff. Not Star Wars stuff. Huh? I already have a lot of them. They're cool though. I just see something I don't have. How much are your loose figures? They're uh, $10 each. Not each. That's a good price even on a Jawa. What's that? That's a good price. Even on the loose ones. <clears throat> Rancor. <laughs> I like those guys. Did you say you brought this big monster today or? No, I forgot it. Forgot it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's dope. That's bad. You know what, Jesse forgot to take this out for his monster thing. Yeah, I gotta get it out. <coughs> oh, yeah. The what? Oh. Yeah, that's 300 bucks. Oh, okay. well, Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, Oh, ha, ha. 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 Oh, 150 though. That's what we wanted one, but we don't go for that much on eBay. Um, cool though, really cool to see. I like the box art. Look at Jaws. That's dope. That was my sister's. Oh, really? Yeah. It's in the garage. My mom passed away and I picked another girl. <laughs> this is a Super Nintendo Mini. Huh? Well, not Mini, but small box. <clears throat> Let's see how brown it is. I'm gonna try to pull it out for me. 
Oh yeah. It's very yellow. Everything works, though. Now the guy hasn't seen it. The guy come up, stepped up and offered me something fun, but he hasn't seen it yet. And I, yeah. I put him on ice until Monday. No paperwork either, huh? I'm busy this weekend. See me Monday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was my final offer, though, so I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, mm. he, he might get up and say good. I don't know. But, yeah. That's where I'm at. Why does it stick out so much? I'll hold off for now. Just, it's okay. very yellow. I didn't expect that one. To be that bit yellow. What's, what's your value on it? Damn. I don't know. Like that, I don't know. <clears throat> Give me a little bit less than what he had because I don't know if he's going to come through for me or not. Yeah. How about 60? I'll do 65. Yeah, it's in a red, yellow, but I'll try to take it off. Yeah, I'll check it out. They're like missing parts. Yeah, this is that lot. Did you see that uh, G.I. Joseph? No, I haven't seen it yet. Um, but they're, like, they're, the, they're not the six inch figure, they're like the big figures. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just looking for the little guy. <laughs> oh, that's dope. This is Optimus. This is a Megatron. But where's this rest of his body? Digimon. Digimon. Oh, you're still looking for one? <laughs> oh, here's a G1. But it's missing his animal. Something I've never seen. It's a cobot. Looks like, uh, I don't know. It looks like a real, it looks like a transformer. It looks like a bike fest. Japanese maybe? Japan. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I see anything I need. I think he looks pretty good. There's a lot of these guys. Look at that. He looks kind of cool. <laughs> There's this guy too. Are you looking for parts in that dude? Yeah, but I mean, he's missing his whole body. There's yeah. That would have been cool because it's like a pretty expensive one too. Optimus for fire? Broken? Does he have the eight head? The what? The eight head? Is it there? The eight head? Doesn't he come with an eight head? Like he turns into a gorilla, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, let me see. Where's the head at? Yeah, so some cool stuff. Got a rank. He wants 40 each, though. Which kind of sucks. That's what he goes for. Some more. Jumbo. Superheroes. That's any one. I think. You know, the Hulk one's pretty cool. Mars Attacks is a pretty cool one, too. Check stuff in there. This is like. Weird, I never seen like the parts coming out like that ever. Pretty cool though to see. 
All right, guys, seems like I'm done hunting for a bit. Uh, I thought I showed you guys the flea market because it's really, really cool. They have a little bit of everything. I checked out those games already. Uh, you know, they got comics. Oh, they got a cool Chucky doll. Thank you. Enjoy. Are you sober on these? No. I sold them earlier. So, yeah. It's probably one of my favorite flea markets because they all have vintage stuff. Um, and I found Super Nintendo. I found uh, Optimus Prime, Primal, Transformers figure. What else did I get? Uh, that I got a Hulk figure uh, suit version, which is really cool because it's like a pretty hard one to find. Got him for $15, it's a great price. Uh, but we're gonna keep on hunting, guys. We're gonna keep looking. Let's see what else if I see all these old stuff. And there you guys go. I'll show you guys any more stuff if I see any more cool things in a few minutes. <laughs> It got me all the way down to nothing just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Pretty rare Barbie yeah. guys. If you want any more, I'll make, I'll make you a Number three. I'll come back around. Okay. Half or better than what I have on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Thank you. Yep. Right condition, that's like. You can come around and look at it if you want. How much is it? $150. You don't have her glasses, do you? Huh? Her glasses? The what? Her glasses? Sunglasses? I, I don't know. They might be in there. All of this is is stuff for it. Everything. There's... Yeah, I see them. This goes with it. There's all kinds of shit. <laughs> this is full of stuff. Yeah. Okay. This was all with it. Yeah, I see him. Oh. Bad place. What did you find out? <laughs> She's number three. You're right. She's number three. Well, okay. <coughs> you know what the three sell for? No, no, no. Jeff did. I completed. Even... These two dolls are on there. Let me go make some money. I just grabbed some robot figures. It's actually a cassette man. It's not even. It's a bootleg. What's his name? Soundwave. Rick, Rick, Rock, Rick at Ventura. Guilt trip for you. I saw that Voltron. Let me see. He's a funny oh, shit. He's a funny guy. He doesn't really need to work. He has a butler. And, huh? He has a butler. Yeah, Can you see that ultra man there? Yeah. I mean, he sells those dive blocks. I mean, yeah, I know. Than that. <laughs> I know. You didn't have his head, did you? Oh, uh, no. Just the <laughs> piece. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Throw it in your pile. You can find <laughs> out one day. Ultraman. Ultraman stuff. You have any other stuff like that? Ultraman. Uh, no, All those action figures are from a friend's place. Oh, okay. Just this last week. Look at this, Terrence. You have this book? That's a nice one. It's pretty neat. Book. The 1938. 39, yeah. 39. Wonderful. Alright, guys, we have the Tiger Zord. The Mega Zord, awesome score right here. So this thing is sword, like always. Um, then we got the Thunder Sword here. It's missing the character. I don't see it. <clears throat> oh, Alright, let's see. Let's ask. What is up guys, Prophecy Game Stash here. Now, I'm not, I know I do a lot of vintage toy hunting, but this is actually kind of newer, you know, from the 2000s. Nothing vintage, super, or anything rare, except for maybe the Power Rangers there, but 
I mean, that's probably the best that I got. But I, I thought I showed you guys some really cool collectibles. So we did pick up some Marvel Select figures, parts only, which I thought was really cool to pick up. And, of course, there's some rare pieces in here. Um, you know, if you know toys, you're going to point pin, uh, pinpoint which ones are the rare ones, which I thought was really cool to show you guys. But um, really cool. I thought I showed you guys. There's a, actually Jeepers Creepers, Death Space figures. I thought that was fucking awesome. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat. Scorpion there with this uh, skull face. And we got another Marvel Legend there. I'm going to separate those, actually. We got a really cool Army of Darkness. Uh, I think it was Evil Dead, from what I remember, for sure. Really cool figure. Resident Evil figures, which I thought it was really, really cool. So I ended up paying like 10 bucks a piece on the on the box uh, toys. And then um, close to two for five on the figures, which is uh, Full Metal Alchemist there. Uh, which I thought was a really really good price and then we got some old-school Pokemon Mew figures, which you don't really see often um, Really cool to see one in the box and one loose And I bought these for two a dollar a piece on the um, Megazord loose figures, so I thought it was a really good price and then we got a really cool. I don't honestly guys I don't like pop figures whatsoever, but I got this for a killer price and now this figure is pretty Expensive, so I had to pick it up. I'm happy to pick up Thanos and then really awesome. This probably is considered vintage. Um, Turbo Man car in the box, awesome fucking find here, guys. I, I paid this, I paid six bucks for this. It's still very intact, very clean. The box is a little seen better days, but it's Turbo Man, Turbo Time, Time Racer car. So I thought that was really cool. And then I really picked up this really cool Digimon. Um, it looks like a does it say there radio um voice oh amplify your own voice into the digimon microphone really really cool i had to pick that up for four bucks so there you guys go hope you guys enjoyed this little toy uh pickup if you guys look forward to the next video um maybe i have more pickups if not enjoy guys thanks for watching what is up guys from c game Sash here welcome to my outstanding pickup this Sunday, one of my favorite flea markets. I always find cool stuff there. Um, it's one of the flea markets that I have to take my time and analyze the whole flea market. I probably we walked maybe at least 20 times. I did walk, you know, my wife came with me, she hunted after, but I walked about 20 times. And sure enough, every time we uh, went to a different aisle, I found a little thing or something different, um, which is really cool. So um, this gets to it. I think this is probably the best pickup I got today. Where the thermoses, I paid 20 bucks for all these thermoses from an old man. Uh, he wanted 30, I said, would you do 20 for him? He said, yeah, and then, so we got all these thermoses. We have three Transformers from 1984, really, really cool. We got the Gremlins, we got Pac-Man, uh, we got the Marvel Comics, which is really cool. We got G.I. Joe down there, Lone Ranger, Indiana Jones, another uh, Transformers one. This is Raggedy Ann and Andy. And there's going to be some random, there's some random ones, um, but most of the best ones were the Transformer ones, which I got three of those. So I thought it was really, really cool. So pretty much less than a dollar a piece. That was a good, really good score because thermoses are always missing um, in these uh, boxes. So it was really cool to score all these thermoses. Epic steel there. Um, so this, I paid 35, I think it was. I did 15, 10, 5, and 5. So that was a really good score there. Mint copy of Time Crashes 3. Um, <clears throat> and then pretty happy with the Incredible Hulk, um, Joe Hulk figure. It's like a thug one. And then my wife bought me this really cool ring as well. So that was really cool. That's going to stay with me. And then we got Optimus Prime, Beast Wars, Gorilla Mode. Really cool. I paid three bucks for this. And then I got these ones as well. I think it's, I want to say this one be, kind of say want to be Robotech. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I got it for five bucks and it's fully, uh, not complete, complete, but it's all there. No missing parts whatsoever. Uh, really good deal. The figure's still in the inside there. So that was an awesome score. This is probably one of my favorite scores. It's Cassette Man. This is a, I want to say it could be original. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about Taiwan figures, but most of the Taiwan figures are bootlegs. But it's really well made. Um, everything opens, functions, just like the original Soundwave G1. But this is a different kind of bootleg and it looks awesome. It says Cassette Man. And it's actually really, like, really clean. It's like everything's still firm they're not loose they're strong joints so that was probably my best pickup for five bucks um this one as well got a boxed ultraman 
from Bandai. Awesome score there. And then secondly, won another great score, which is Rancor. He wanted 40 bucks in the beginning, went down. He wanted, ended up doing it for 20 bucks in the end of the day. So that was an awesome score there. I'm going to use a heat gun and start placing the plastic back into the Rancor. Um, it's really cool. Original Star Wars 19, I'm going to say it's 1977, I want to say, but I could be wrong on the date on that, but it's the original Star Wars. And then we got a Super Nintendo for 60 bucks. Uh, missing the manual, but the rest is complete. Everything's in there. So it was nice. It's a little yellow, but I have a mint Super Nintendo from uh, two weeks ago that I picked up at a flea market. So I'll replace it with that and have this for sale at the expo. And last but not least, I got a Jumbo Power Ranger Dino Sword. Dino Sword, I want to say, but I think there might be something else. But I picked this up. Um, these are the new modern Jumbos um, that everybody's talking about. They're older, like 2003, nothing crazy, They're not too expensive. Um, but, you know, I pick them up because I'm going to add these into my collection. So they're really, really cool. There you guys go. That's pretty much everything, guys. Nothing too crazy for a Sunday, but really awesome pickups for me. Uh, I got some stuff for my collection, so the rest will be up for sale at the expos or events that I go to. And thanks for watching, guys.